Uh, Alright. What is up, Flippers? Welcome back to another very exciting unboxing here. Today I got in my glider Bermuda. Uh, and so yeah, I'm going to unbox it, get my first impressions on it. <clears throat> Let you guys know what I think about it and all that. Uh, so yeah, so, trying to decide if I should debrief what this uh, Bermuda is, but I guess I'll just go ahead and unbox it here. Maybe I'll do it while I'm unboxing. All right, so the glider Bermuda is a. Uh, I'm not sure. I think it's entirely discontinued now. I'm not sure about that. I'm not sure if they're going to try to uh, bring back like a different version or or something like that. But this is a uh, budget battle song on bearings with stainless steel liners and G10 scales. So uh, definitely not uh, what glider what we're used to seeing from Glider, but uh, yeah, let's go ahead and unbox it. So yeah, these are all supposedly like blemished, so they don't come with a box, just a uh, one of their classic uh, bags that most of their other stuff comes in, like their accessories and stuff like that. All right. You can definitely tell it's a little bit heavier than average. I want to say this is 4.6 ounces, if I uh, if I recall correctly. Very simple, but still fairly interesting design. You got some G10 uh, spacers, looks like. Some fairly thin liners. The liners are pretty thin. I'm, Quite surprised with the weight of uh, of this, so that's pretty interesting. Um, but yeah, the glider Bermuda in candy red. Let's go ahead and give her a flip. It doesn't seem too oily so far, from what I can tell. Apparently, these are all like super oily, and that was like the blemish. But anyway, first flips. Oh my god. <laughs> Glider, what are you guys doing with these short blades? Look at how, look at how short this blade is. There's still like a whole inch of handles after the blade. <laughs> this thing is, it definitely feels really handle bias uh, right out of the gate. So that's uh, interesting. I wonder if I can, uh, I wonder if switching these G10 spacers for out for like barrels if that would do anything, but I think that the blade is just so short and the handles are so long in comparison that you're always going to have this kind of wonky handle bias. But yeah, people were not kidding when they said it was handle bias, uh, so that's pretty funny. Uh, Let's check out tolerances. Do a little play test here. I'm not pushing. That's like moderate pressure. Let's see it push a little bit harder. Yeah. So yeah, just a little bit of play, not too bad. Let's see if I can. I assume that they would tune it, but. I'll see if uh, slightly tightening any, either of these uh, handles uh, makes it bind or anything. <clears throat> uh, other than that, feels pretty good, pretty interesting. <laughs> Definitely a lot of weight in the handles, that's uh, the main thing that I'm getting from this so far.
but the G10 is really comfortable. Um, it's really soft and uh, just comfortable in general. Um, it would be kind of cool to see maybe like a pattern, hole pattern in the uh, in the G10 scales, but for the budget price, I mean, not really too necessary, I'd say. Um, so yeah, I think it would be cool for Glider to come out with a uh, similar version to this Bermuda here, but they just really got to... Uh, they must have some people who work there who really like handle bias because uh, it <laughs> seems most of their stuff is fairly handle bias. So I would like to see this thing with a better balance. Um, and this could really be a good uh, budget option, I feel like. Yeah, because there, there's not really too many um, like sandwich battle songs that are like quality budget, right? Like right now we have the the Vulp, if you want to call that quality. <laughs> I mean, like it's like decent quality, right, for the price. So, um, yeah, there's not really like a sandwich battle song that's in that price range that um, that's actually like a solid option. So if we see something like this from uh, Glider, that would be uh, that would be really cool. Good old Stubby, yep, Stubby, Stubby Blade. How would you say it compares to a cycloid or diode? Uh, it's definitely much heavier than either of those. <laughs> um, the balance is definitely worse <laughs> than either of those, I would say. Um, uh, overall, yeah, I would take a cycloid or a diode any day over this thing, <laughs> honestly. Um, as is, at least. Uh, if this thing had like a little bit more to offer, then maybe, you know, I would kind of start to compare the two, but this is just a really interesting um, kind of one-off production that Glider did that I was interested in getting my hands on and seeing what they, uh, what they came up with. And it's definitely interesting, I'm definitely like enjoying it, but definitely quite a bit of uh of negatives or downsides to this one i would say um but yeah still pretty cool overall like i said definitely still want to see glider kind of uh continue to pursue this this kind of idea that'd be pretty cool tap test no tap so that's cool I would hope so with bearings. <laughs> Take a little look, closer look at the, uh, the pivots there maybe. Oh, I forgot this camera doesn't focus, so do my best here to give you guys a closer look. But uh, yeah, that's pretty much the uh, lighter Bermuda here. Thank you all for watching. Let me know if you have any questions or comments down below, and I'll do my best to get back to you guys ASAP. But yeah, that's it for this one. Thanks for watching, Flippers. I will see you all in the next video. Peace. <laughs> <clears throat>